our accounts got hacked and somebody like took all all our stuff. It just I woke up the next day, everything was gone. Like everything you had in your whole life, it's just gone. Like there was nothing in there. Kind of panic. I'm going to account account change, password change. I don't have access to anything. Literally nothing I have access to. So I was sitting there. I was like, you know, you get devastated because it's like, okay, who's going to pay the rent and who's going to pay all this stuff, the bills and everything? Because you have you have zero money literally, and 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 all your you know all your investment is just gone. Somebody just, uh, anyways, this was a few months ago. Be careful. Everybody should have extra security. This is the number one thing now happening in America is is uh, is, is fraud uh, on your uh, bank accounts and on cryptos and, and, and other stuff. But anyways, so I was sitting with my wife and I and you know you always you never want to break these things down like that to your wife. Say okay, we lost everything because you know it's very difficult for them because they see you as the one who's bringing working and bringing the money and they have that security and, and tranquility and they they can really can shatter their, their whole world and, and they, they get depressed on, over these things so so I was breaking it out easy so, you know this account was one of my account was hacked and this and that so okay and I, and I thought she was just okay I said I said you know what you have to make really du'as because all her accounts was hacked and then she looked she goes did we pay our zakat this year properly I swear to God first thing did, did we pay our zakat properly this year? Do you count everything properly? I said, I think so, but I can double check. Uh, I usually pay more in zakat. She said, we must have done something wrong. And that was our whole thing. And for me, it was like a paradigm shift. And I was like, I've been reading these things, but she's living those things. Like, it's different, you know, the people who have that connection. So, and... Obviously, you do what you have to do, but you know it, it took a while, about three, two, three months. But Alhamdulillah, we, we were able to recover a lot of stuff. So, but anyways, the point is that you have to realize everything is from Allah, and what wrong have you done that this come to you? Like people always ask about political situation in our countries, and I just you know it's the the best example is Sayyidina Ali when they went to him and they said. When Sayyidina Abu Bakr and Omar were in charge, like, look, we had like amazing Khilafah, no fighting, no. Now, ever since, you know, Uthman and you took over, like, we are fighting and we have all this corruption and all this stuff. What's, you know, what do you say to that? He said, well, when Abu Bakr and Omar were the Khalifa, you know, they had people like Uthman and me under them. Now we have people like you under us. <laughs> That's the difference, right? So it's, you know, you have to really think about yourself. Again, we go back to that Ghalib poem that, you know, you can't keep wiping the mirror and saying that, why, why have dirt on, my, on, my, on this No, it's not the mirror. It's you. You have to wipe your face and clean it. But people don't want to do that. 